Not a great result for Carolina Panthers today. 29-3, the final score, losing to the Atlanta Falcons. Pretty much all Atlanta all day long. Big offensive day for the Falcons. Matt Ryan, 21 of 31, passing 311 yards and a touchdown. That to Calvin Ridley. Julio Jones on the day had, a, had you know nearly 100 yards, over 80 yards receiving, and he talked about his day's effort. We always been this team, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's us. You know, um, we just had to figure it out for us. Um, a lot of people have been down us and saying we, you this, you that, but you can't read the newspaper, nor you can listen to the media, right? It's all about what's in-house, and we just got to stay true to who we are and keep battling for one another. Um, it's just one game at a time. Um, but Q challenged us, you know, um, early on, first when we came off the bye week, you know, um, it's about throwing the punch. And what we're going to do, um, we can either listen to everybody, what everybody's talking about us, or we can do something about it. And at the end of the day, it's on us, and we control all this. And so that's what we're doing right now. All right, now, Julio Jones, great day notwithstanding. Carolina had uh, big problems on the offensive line. Kyle Allen sacked multiple times. He threw four interceptions. But despite all that, Coach Ron Rivera likes the progress of his young quarterback and knows there will be growing pains. He's a young quarterback who's going to make young mistakes. But that's why you put him out there because, again, it's, it is a learning curve. You're absolutely right. But I'm not worried about it. He threw the ball in the directions he needed to. He just didn't do the things he was supposed to do. And that's the thing that he'll learn and grow with. But we're going to go and we're going to live with his learning pains because that's what the game's all about. This is what, his year and a half? Eighth game, I think, or ninth game, he's going to get better. You've got to be able to protect him, and it was unfortunate that we didn't protect the quarterback the way we're capable of. We have too many good football players not to do a better job, but I also want to give the other team credit, too. This was a bad day, and I, and I guess, what do you do? You say, all right, guys, it's in the rearview mirror. Let's move on. We're, we're going on to play the Saints. So you got to put this game away, come back on Wednesday for practice, and focus on the Saints. You know, the Saints. You know, who knows what they're going to do. They lost to the same Atlanta Falcon team last week. Moving forward, Carolina has dug themselves a hole. They're 5-5 five and five now. You have to think if they want to make the playoffs, they're going to have to win at least 10 games, and that's a long road to hoe, but they can do it. They believe it. We've been in the locker room. They're, they're thinking that they can do the same thing. They can run the table and maybe win out. Final score from Bank of America Stadium, Atlanta 29, Carolina 3.